Without objection, so ordered, the gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise to pay tribute to one of my distinguished predecessors in representing the district. I am now privileged to serve in Congress and to celebrate his recent 80th birthday. Dr. John Bradamus served the then 3rd District of Indiana in the House of Representatives for 22 years, from 1959 till 1981. While in Congress, Dr. Bradamus played a leading role in writing most of the federal legislation enacted concerning schools, colleges and universities, services for the elderly and the disabled, libraries, museums, the arts, and humanities. During his last four years on Capitol Hill, John Bradamus served as House Majority Rep under Speaker Tip O'Neill. Our distinguished former colleague was a dedicated and highly effective legislator and shaper of national policy. He has also been president of the nation's largest private university, New York University. Madam Speaker, many members of both this chamber and the Senate on both sides of the aisle served with Dr. Bradamus. I believe they will share my sentiments in expressing our admiration for his outstanding public service and join me in wishing him well. Thank you, Madam Speaker. For what purpose does the gentleman from Indiana rise? Without objection, so ordered, the gentleman is recognized.